Kumpigie makofi tena mwishmiwa rais wa Komoro Jameni Thank you very much Mr. President for honoring us with your presence and the statement you have made on behalf of our Africa Union and the great people of Komoro Watu wa embu wacha nichukue na fasi hii Kwanza kabisa kuwa shukuru watu wa embu Nilikuja hapa na ndugu zangu wengi Tukaomba kura zenu Mukawa ni watu wangwana Muka tupatia kura zenu Muka tuongezea maombi Na mungu waka tupatia ushindi Jameni watu wa embu na simama mbele yenu leo Kusema asante sana Narudia tena watu wa embu kusema asante sana Mimi nataka ni wakikishie Ya kwamba sisi wote Tulio pata na fasi ya kuchaguliwa Kutoka MCAs wetu Wabunge Magavana Masenator Mweshimiwa Deputy President na mimi hapa Pamoja na mawaziri wetu na wale wote ambao wamepata na fasi ya uongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya Mimi nataka ni wakikishie tutashikamana Tutafanya kazi pamoja Ili tutimize malengo yetu ya kubadilisha uchumi wa Kenya Na kuakikisha kwamba kila mkenya anapata na fasi ya kujiendeleza katika taifa letu la Kenya Na wauliza viongozi wote Sote tulio pata na fasi kutokana na kura za wananchi hawa Tushikamane, tushirikiane, tufanye kazi pamoja Ili tuweze kubadilisha embu wakati tunabadilisha Kenya Asanteni tena watu wa embu kwa msaada wenu, kwa kura zenu na kwa maombi yenu I want to say thank you very much to the great people of Embu County as I thank all Kenyans who stepped forward to vote in the last election so that we as the people of Kenya can maintain our democratic credentials as a nation that is democratic, as a nation that is built on the firm foundation of multi-party democracy and now it is our opportunity all of us as leaders in government and in the opposition to work together towards making our nation great on this day 60 years ago kenya formally gained its right of internal government madaraka the mandate of majority african self-determination was a major step forward the emergence of this nation as a republic later that year that first madaraka day then was the golden dawn of our country's sovereignty freedom from colonial oppression autonomy from racist repression and liberty from foreign suppression in fighting for our sovereignty our noble freedom fighters had primarily waged a political struggle to liberate a people divided, humiliated and impoverished under a predatory system whose institutions were vicious and extractive. So, although the freedom struggle was political and the first Madaraka Day represented political autonomy, every Kenyan African understood it to mean and to be the beginning of the hard and noble work of securing and enhancing social and economic freedom as well for 60 decades for six decades now the people of kenya have worked hard with admirable diligence and unwavering determination to perfect the political freedom of their nation through sustained socio-economic progress. In this manner, Kenyans have reiterated their commitment to true freedom by complementing political freedom with freedom from want, freedom from suffering, freedom from ignorance, 
and freedom from indignity. Our forefathers' historic struggle to vindicate our God-given rights of self-determination entailed tremendous sacrifice and immense determination against a colossal adversary. Ultimately, they triumphed. Similarly, our war against underdevelopment, poverty, unemployment, indignity, and vulnerability has been daunting. Yet, we have made steady progress year after year over six years of freedom. At the heart of our struggle for freedom, both before and after independence, is the distinctively Kenyan spirit of determination that is nevertheless flexible, consistency which is innovative, pragmatism that is also hopeful, and faith strong enough to take chances. The sacrifices required were inspired by a spirit that is truly unique, which transcends ordinary decision making. We recognize that spirit even now. It lives in the heart of every Kenyan who wakes up early to give their best, try their luck, knock on doors, and chase their dreams. We see it every day when we see traders, artisans, farmers, and other workers braving the scorching sun and enduring cold rain in pursuit of livelihood. We also witness in its the teach in teachers, nurses, police officers, extension officers, and technicians who go far from their comfort zone, often beyond the call of duty, to attend to Kenyans in their communities throughout all villages, all corners of our great republic. This noble ethic of willingness to struggle by working hard and embracing risk and of determination to achieve positive change in great leaps as well as in little installments has brought us far and will take us beyond the horizon of our destiny. Today, I join all Kenyans to celebrate our magnificent collective